just true devoted affection, a response to salvation. That's what me and my wife are talking about today. And what exactly is true devoted affection and a response to salvation? So you see, we receive salvation the moment that we acknowledge Christ as our Lord and Savior, the moment that we acknowledge that we're sinners and that our penalty for our sin is death and hell for all eternity, separated from love and separated from God. We accept that Jesus is the only way to get to heaven. Jesus is the only way to escape death in the grave, to escape the eternal damnation, is the only way is through Jesus. See, we acknowledge that we're sinners and we invite Jesus in our hearts and we invite Jesus in our minds and our lives and then we go on to live what we call a Christian life. We're now Christians. We are now what the early church called believers believers of the way or followers of the faith. But now that we're followers of the faith and now that we're Christians, what is true devoted affection? What is the true devoted affection response to that salvation? You see, when we come into partnership with Jesus, we come into relationship with Jesus, we come into agreement with Jesus, we come into agreement with salvation and his way. And how do we respond to show our affection, to show our devotion? The way we respond is following his ways. How do we follow his ways? How do we get in tune with Jesus? How do we stay in tune with what Jesus is doing? And how do we get into the ebbs and flows of everyday living that is inside the vein and inside the moving of Jesus himself? How do we get into that? We get into that by reading the word, by studying scripture, by praying, by seeking God out in conversation, getting to know Jesus. You don't get to know Jesus by being quiet and never spending time with him. You can't get to know anyone without spending time with them. So the way that we get to know Jesus and the way that we grow affectionately towards him is by showing devotion and prayer, showing devotion and reading and studying the scripture. You can't always count on somebody to show you what scripture says or tell you what you should and shouldn't believe about scripture. Yes, we go to church to receive the word, but you need to take the time to read the word on your own because when you're reading the word on your own, Holy Spirit, Jesus will speak to you. Those words will pop up off of those pages and implant themselves into your heart. And even there I say, give an impregnation of something that God is calling you to. They will begin to they will begin to plant inside of you something that one day someday will give you'll give birth to such as a calling in your life. We need to get to know who Jesus is. We need to get closer to Jesus and we can't do that by ignoring Jesus after salvation. We can't live like the world is living and be Christians and expect to be devoted unto Jesus. How do you get devoted unto Jesus? It's as if it's a song and dance. It's as if it's a back and forth. And if you know how dance works on the dance floor, when a couple comes together to dance, it's not one person dancing, but it's two people dancing. It's a special creation that is with two individuals, a husband and a wife, two partners that are dancing together to the tune of one song. And if we don't get to know Jesus, we can't dance correctly with him. We're all out of tune. You see, Jesus is in tune on the dance floor. Jesus knows what way we should and shouldn't go, but we don't know what way Jesus should does want to go because we haven't spent time with Jesus. Don't you want to know Jesus more intimately? Don't you desire to know him more intimately? Don't you want to hear Holy Spirit's voice more? Holy Spirit came to dwell within you from the moment of salvation. Don't you want to dance with Jesus? Jesus wants to dance with you. He chose to give the, the analogy of a husband and a wife when it came to the relationship of him and the church. A groom and the bride. The bridegroom and the bride. And if we're going to be the bride, we need to let Jesus take us by the waist and lead us. We can't be stiff and tight. Jesus like, you don't trust me still? Even after I gave you the free gift of salvation? 
Why aren't you relaxed? What's hindering you from dancing in tune with Jesus, from getting in tune with Jesus? Christians, you receive salvation. Now it's up to you to show a devoted response to that salvation. Don't you want to have a romantic relationship with Jesus? And you know the romantic relationship I'm talking about is the pure and holy one. Don't you want to know him intimately? Open your heart to him. Practice dancing with him. Take his hand as he leads. Get in tune. Just an encouraging word. Let's dance with Jesus.